Welcome to Hoop Chat by Fast Model Sports. I'm your host, Justin Scanson. With us today, Gibson Piper. Gibson is a Team Fast Model plays and drills contributor and also contributor to our blog, team.fastmodelsports.com. Uh, Gibson, how's it going? How's it going, Justin? Good to see you. It's going great. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself, your basketball background, uh, and kind of how you got involved in, in X's and O's. Yeah, I, uh, I played basketball throughout high school, um, varsity level, and then I went back and uh, was an assistant um, basketball coach to my dad in middle school, um, and then assistant varsity basketball coach at the uh, high school I attended. Um, but I really got a passion for it because I grew up under my dad, who was a coach. Mm-hmm. So I was at practice, you know, 24-7 growing up, drawing plays, and, you know, I'm young on the bench and stuff. So I really, that's where my uh, passion kind of came from. And then uh, I decided a while back that I wanted to be a coach. I kind of knew that was always the end goal um, for my basketball career. I wanted to coach. So I just decided one day that I was going to create a, a Twitter and YouTube uh, page and just kind of develop myself, but also trying to provide a resource for young coaches Um, Because I was looking for more information uh, for coaching and I couldn't really find great resources out there. Like the people were talking about what people are doing with video and like, you know, just providing more information. And uh, so I decided I would try to be that guy and and it's going well so far. Outstanding. Well, that's uh, that's how we found you. We your your amazing content on Twitter. Um, And we'll have a link in the the description for your your uh, Twitter account, your um, your website. Uh, Tell us a little bit about how you watch basketball games because when during an NBA game and I'm I'm on Twitter I'm just seeing you fill everything up and then the next day our library is full of plays that you drew up uh, from the night before. Tell us a little bit about about your process. Yeah, yeah, my process is a little bit uh, a little bit more advanced because I've I've been doing this for a little while now. Um, but basically, I have two things that are always open. It's uh, it, Twitter, you know, obviously, but I have a notebook next to to my computer here um and i have fast draw up on my laptop so i have i have two computers here so um so i always have fast draw open and, and what i do is as i go through a game i don't look for sets that they score every time with you know i don't look for you know a made basket and that helps but what i look for is actions that cause the defense to have to do an, have an extra rotation or an extra closeout or um creative action into a set so Instead of just coming down and passing to the elbow, you know, sometimes you can have the big switch into the elbow. I look for like little things like that and then write a note of it, you know, take take notes of, you know, time, you know, score, situational stuff. And then I'll draw it in fast draw right then. Um, the beauty of DVR and technology today is you can just pause the game most of the time and then draw it up and then go back to whatever you're watching. Um, most of the time I try to get a play drawn and then put it out on Twitter during like a commercial break. So I'm not missing a lot of the action or, or pause. If it's a really good set, I'll pause it and then upload it. Cause I think people need to know about it. Um, and then I'm incorporating more and more like little Twitter videos this year. I'm mm-hmm. um, trying to provide. So, you know, like a set is, is great, but it's also really good for me to have video. Like I'm a visual learner. Mm-hmm. So I want to be able to have kind of both of those resources for people who learn different ways. Absolutely. Just like, uh, just like coaching when you, when yeah. you're working with your players, everybody learns differently. Uh, yeah. So tell us a little bit more about how you use Fast Draw. Well, I use, I use Fast Draw probably differently than most people um, because I my goal right now, because I'm not, I don't have a team. Um, I'm still, you know, finishing my degree. So my goal is to kind of retain as much information as possible and also provide as much information as possible. So I'll go through and, and I'll, I'll have different sets for different teams. But basically my goal is to, uh, write down and draw all of the, the things that happen in the sets. Um, so as I go through my fast draw, you know, I pull up. Usually when I'm watching a game, I already have a new play pulled up. So I'll go with go in with the game with the intent of watching, like if it's Cavs versus Bulls. I'll go in with the intent of watching the Cavs. So I'll see what the Cavs do. So I'll have fast draw pulled up with a new play kind of already ready as the Cavs, you know, half court, you know, all the diagram stuff's already ready. And all I have to do is just name it and draw it. Um, so what I do is, you know, I, I watch, watch the play, I'll write down what they did, you know, and then I'll write down the notes, you know, so I'll have, you have play notes, you have frame notes, you have, you can label the players, you know, you can do so much different stuff with just one set that it can get overcomplicated if you do it too much. Um, but what I like to do is, so let's say the Cavs run set for Kevin Love, 
you know, and, and he's at the four spot, you want, you can put KL as his initials. And that's just so cool to me because you can take that and say, this is where Kevin Love is. This is, this is where he's going. This is how they run it for, for Kevin Love. And, uh, it's really cool and creative. And then I, I have a, uh, a continual playbook of like NBA playbook for this year and last year. So that way I can have like, you know, split it by team, split it by coach, split it by year, um, split it by play type. So under each team, it's like the Atlanta Hawks. I'll go early offense, half court sets, sideline out of bounds, baseline out of bounds, specials, and then like end of game sets. So you can have those individual ones tagged. And then what's cool is if I want to go and see just Atlanta Hawks sets end a game, I can pull up just that section in my NBA playbook. But then if I want to export that into my own little section, because I think the Atlanta Hawks are really good in the game, I can just copy that to the other playbook, create a new one, copy the section real quick, and I'm done. It's, it's awesome. Great. That's great. So you've watched a ton of games so far. Um, yeah. What's good so far in, in the uh, early NBA season? Early NBA season. So there's a lot of good stuff because coaches are always trying to figure out new ways to get their players uh, different actions. Um, I'm seeing right now the Cavs are running really good motion, not necessarily Princeton that you think with David Blatt, but they'll run really good delay motion. Um, it's similar to Mike D'Antoni's delay where the point guard dribbles the ball up on the wing, passes to the center and to the top of the key in the middle. Then they have both wings go set down screens for both uh, like bigs or guards in the corner and it's kind of like interchange and then the big at the top of the key can decide if he wants to go dribble handoff to the left side to the right side so it's like a pin down into a dribble handoff and then that big rolls to the rim and the other guard kind of lifts on the wing behind him so what you have is the point guard or guard comes off the dribble handoff from the big that's like the first option second option is read what the defense does see if the big is available on the roll of the rim and then see if the guards are open on the wing coming up if the defense over helps inside um, so that's been really good action that I really like. Um, the Golden State Warriors are still doing the same things they've been doing. I can't believe I, I, mean, I, I probably people are probably annoyed with me because I, I talk about the after timeout back screen mm -hmm. set so much, but they still run it like they're still getting layups off it this year. I can't believe teams uh, don't stop that. So and now that is Stephen Clay um, kind of like floppy interchange underneath the basket. One will cut to the wing and receive the pass. The other one, most likely Steph, will set a back screen for the big at the elbow, and he's open for a layup. Um, I'm seeing a lot more um, pin down into step-up ball screens. Uh, that's a, a pretty common action that was in Eurobasket 2015 this year, where a big will set a pin down screen for a guard. The guard will receive the ball, then he'll turn around and right back and set a ball screen, kind of like a step-up ball screen, um, especially ball screens with the wing empty. So you'll have three okay. players on one side of the floor and then the other side where like the, the guard and the big are kind of playing a two-man game. The big will step up either out of the paint or off the wing and set a ball screen towards half court. So the guard drives down to the baseline, big rolls to the rim, and it's very difficult to guard because that's empty because the corner mm -hmm. there is empty. Outstanding. Well, it'll, be, it'll also be interesting to watch as teams start to defend these plays, what counters – uh, the coaches have yeah, available to them. So exactly. Well, Gibson, thank you so much for your time. Uh, let everybody know where they can find you. Yeah, I'm available on, on Twitter uh, a lot uh, at Half Court Hoops. Um, if you're watching basketball, live basketball, or just basketball in general, I'm usually tweeting. I tweeted out something this morning, you know, about what the Pelicans are running. So at Half Court Hoops, um, YouTube Half Court Hoops. Uh, the YouTube link's also on my Twitter, um, and then I have my own website, thebasketballplaybook.com. Uh, where I try to upload like clinic notes and different breakdowns and stuff like that. I'm going to do a lot more of that this season. I'm really excited about. Great. Well, we will uh, we'll link that up in the description. Also, we can find Gibson at Fast Model. Uh, yeah. You can find him in our Plays and Drills library and our blog, team.fastmodelsports.com. Gibson, thank you so much for your time, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Justin.